Hello. I'm starting a new feature this evening. Periodically, I'm going to spotlight and discuss a lesser-known figure from history. This evening, the spotlight is on William Maxwell Everts. William Maxwell Everts was a great orator who lived from February 6, 1818 until February 28, 1901. He was the grandson of Declaration of Independence signer Roger Sherman. In 1860, Everts was the chairman of the New York delegation to the Republican National Convention. He nominated William Seward rather than Abraham Lincoln. In 1868 and 1869, William Everts was chief counsel and part of the defense during the impeachment trial of President Andrew Johnson. In 1876, he served as counsel for the recently elected Rutherford Burchard Hayes in the highly disputed election of that year. If you thought Bush versus Gore in the year 2000 was controversial, it was nothing compared to the election involving Rutherford Hayes and Samuel Tilden. Everts would later serve as Hayes' Secretary of State. Everts played a key role in raising funds pertaining to the Statue of Liberty in 1886. William Maxwell Everts was truly a man of considerable significance in his day, although he is widely forgotten in the present. As a side note, his great-grandson, Archibald Cox, was the prosecutor during the Richard Nixon Watergate scandal. So he and his great-grandson were both involved with controversial proceedings pertaining to two different presidents. The image you are looking at is a print from the 1890s. And below it is a card featuring the signature of William Everts. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed learning about this now obscure figure in American history. Goodbye.